Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Basketball Insider back with another video and today I'm on NBA 2K21 showing you guys how to level up quickly in my team at an efficient rate, not wasting your time. That's the biggest thing in my opinion, don't waste your time. Do not do the stuff that's going to waste your time, man. Like for instance, I don't do the domination challenges really. I don't do the um where you have to play triple that offline and score a lot of points or sorry score play with three players from these teams i've only done one of them and that was because that i had good players for it but i also haven't done these spotlight challenges because they take 30 minutes a game this combined would take two and a half hours like just to get you know a couple hundred eight eight seven hundred xp it's not really worth it in my opinion what i have done though is the stuff that's not worth or that's easier to do and it's more fun to do i've done the stuff where you have to play triple that online or triple that offline or unlimited or limited or something like that because it's fun to do that the only time i played domination i've done three games of domination and i did all three of these challenges in one game i got 55 points six threes and four steals with robert horry sapphire that was worth it because that's right here is sitting like a thousand six hundred xp that's worth it um i did a hundred points with rashad lewis and i did the eight layups with Stacy Augment in two different games. I also hit some threes with Gasol and got some boards with other players and stuff like that. So that is worth do multiple when you do domination, do as many challenges as you possibly can in that one domination game. So you don't have to play as much. Like I got I did this walker with the Lewis, right? So just maximize your time and do as many challenges in one game as you can that's my suggestion to and i'll show you guys what i have gotten from all these levels of, i've gotten the pink diamond bob lanier very good card i will say that he's very good this early in the year in a couple months he's not going to be any good because he can't shoot uh threes but at this point he's very good in the game he's very good at getting steals as you see he's averaging two steals for me i played five games with him and I guess it counts triple deck because I know I haven't played five uh, unlimited games with him. But he's averaging nine points, about eight rebounds, uh, two steals, one block. He's been good for me, that's for sure. And he can shoot free throws. And he's a very good card. And this James Silas, Silas, however you want to pronounce it, I would get him as well because he's also very good. He's averaging eight points for me, five assists, one steal. He can shoot threes. Uh, he has a good release. He only has a 71 open three and 87 mid range, but he can definitely shoot the ball. He's got a good release. Also, a great driving layup. Um, 93, and he's also super. He's insanely fast. His speed with the ball is 90. His speed is 90. He's very. He feels so fast on the court compared to all the other cards. So definitely go for him if you can. And I got the ball linear from level 22. At when you hit level 22, you get sorry you get um this little like whatever i don't know how you call it but it takes you to the um board where you get to pick a bunch of cards and you just got to get lucky you got to get to the highest board and you got to pick one out of 81 cards you just have to get lucky I, I don't know i got lucky um no really skill or grind for him you just got to get lucky so yeah uh i played i haven't played a lot of unlimited i'm five and five nothing crazy nothing terrible 50 percent but I've only played like three games with the Bob Lanier and the James Sil Silas, maybe two games. So I think I'm 2-0 and with them. But yeah, um, overall my team is not the greatest, but it will get better as the year goes on and more cards come into the game. If y'all want a gameplay video with James and Bob, I got you. I'll make one. Let me know. But also what I would do is when you go for challenges, for instance, right now I'm trying to do these playoff stoppers. I got 50 rebounds with um this bill walton and then when uh right now i'm five out of 15 for the tony allen so when i finish the tony allen i'm gonna sell them back and then i'm gonna try to get this dennis johnson or doug christie they're expensive but what i do is i get the cards for the challenges and then i sell them back for instance i sold this wally back i sold um a lot of cards that i got back like stovakovic um gasol jeff teague i sold them back the only cards i've and the richard lewis i sold them back the only cards i've kept is the richard hamilton and the, and the um what's his name uh, robert horry because they're actually good and i like playing with them as you can see they're in my starting lineup so i've kept them but 
If you get a card for a challenge, don't just keep it in your collection. Sell it back or make your MT back. So you, the more MT you get, the more players you can get for more challenges. And just level up quickly. At the moment, you can't get up to level 40. You need 150,000 XP. They haven't even put... If you do every single challenge in the game, you're not going to get to 150,000 XP yet. Maybe you'll get to 40 or 50k. Maybe. I don't even know if you get that high. But I guess they'll put challenges in in the coming weeks or days. Because there's only 32 days left, so I don't know how that works. Maybe they'll put challenges in that could be like 10k XP for one. I don't know. We'll find out. But that's going to do it for this video, man. I just wanted to show you guys the easiest way to level up. That's the move. I haven't really spent any money. I haven't opened packs. I have not opened one pack this year. Except for, I think I opened one of these. I've opened one base league pack with some uh, VC I had from my career. And I got a bronze for the exchange. To get the James Silas, you need a bronze. Uh, so, that's the only thing I've spent, really. And, yeah. Um, that's my suggestion to you guys. Don't waste your time. Do it the right way. And, yeah, that's going to be it, man. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll drop a uh, gameplay video with the Pink Diamond, Bob Lanier, and Amethyst James Silas soon. See you all next video. Peace.